مدد يا رجال الله عينونا بعون الله وكونوا عونا لنا بالله عسى نحظى بفضل الله صريقتنا الصحبة والخير في الجمعية Our way is companionship with the righteous with those who are Allah is pleased with This is our duty in this world now is to find such human beings If you don't know somebody look for someone Look for a righteous human being, a pious human being. Look for awliyaullah. They are the mirrors reflecting the prophetic lights in this world. This is so rare now to find. It's, a, it's not an easy feat. And not only that, even, even some people may be living next to one, but their mirrors, their, their hearts are so full of distortions that they can't recognize these men. That they can't even uh, appreciate them. And that's, we said many times, that's why awliya hide themselves these days. Because awliya i tahta qibabi in the hadith. My awliya are under my domes. La ya'lamuhum ghayri. And hadith Qudsi, Allah says, Man aada li waliya, faqad aadantuhu bil harb. يعني الله سبحانه وتعالى if you take a wali as your enemy you have declared war on Allah سبحانه وتعالى so awliya don't want to be the cause for people to be maftunin for Allah to seal their hearts therefore they they don't show anything because uh, you, you, you take a wali as your enemy then you're in trouble not on dunya in akhira you're in trouble Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ghira over his awliya Allah. And this is the age of fitna. And anyone has doubted the age of confusion, the age of uh, distortion, the age of black is turned white and white is turned black, the age where hikmah and iman are lifted and knowledge is lifted. They said, this is the time we live in. And I was uh, looking at uh, the hadith of Sayyidina uh, uh, Hudayfa. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik alayhi ala Sayyidina Muhammad. About a hadith i'tizal al-fitna. Sayyidina Hudayfa used to be one of the Sahaba, Hudayfa ibn al-Yaman. He used to be one of the Sahaba that asked about the difficulties, the negative things, the, the warnings, what to be careful of. He was always asking. So in this hadith, and this is in Sahih Bukhari, about اعتزال الناس, about now it's dangerous to mingle too much with people. Because first of all, it's hard to find a good one. And when you find a good one, even it's hard to find al khairi mu'in. It's hard to find somebody to assist you on doing good and being good. So it's also difficult now if you're in any p uh, place of authority. So what did Sayyidina Hudayfa say? Allah Allah. And Sayyidina Hudayfa ibn al-Yaman يقول كان الناس يسألون رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم عن الخير وكنت أن أسأله عن الشر مخافة أن يدركني. He said most people would come and ask about good things from Prophet ﷺ, but I used to ask about evil stuff that I need to be careful of. I need to be warned. So, وَكُنْتُ أَسْأَلُ عَنْ شَرِّ مَخَافِتَ أَنْ يُدْرِكْنِ فَقُلْتُ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ إِنَّا كُنَّا فِي جَاهِلِيَةٍ وَشَرٍ فَجَاءَنَا اللَّهُ بِهَذَا الْخَيْرِ فَهَلْ بَعْدَ هَذَا الْخَيْرِ مِنْ شَرٍ Again, I make sure the uncle sits on the chair. Allah so he asked Prophet وسلم, that we used to be in, in the time of ignorance time of evil before Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to us lots of goodness الخير, all this goodness is there going to be a time of evil afterwards قال, he said, Alaykum salam. Hold on, sit up. Please. 
فقال هل بعد هذا الخير شر Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said yes after this after this this age of goodness we will have a time of شر of evil قلت وهل بعد ذلك الشر من خير and he said Prophet Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم is there any is there also after the evil time will there be also good time after that he said yeah yes وفيه دخن and there is a sign for that فقلت يا رسول الله وما دخنوا and said what is the sign he said قال قوم يهدون بغير هدي تعرف منهم المنكر تعرف منهم وتنكر قوم يهدون بغير هدي تعرف منهم وتنكر قلت فهل من بعد ذلك الخير من شر so he said what is the sign this is so first the time of prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم is good afterwards there will be a bad time then will, there will be a good time but fi in it there it's not all good يعني. and there's sign he says what is what what is the sign he said that you will see uh, people guiding others without with with guidance other than mine and he said you will know some of it and you will you never heard some of it tunkir and he said after that time will there be another evil time he says yes du'atun ala abwaab jahannam man ajabahum ilayha qadhafuhu fiha he said yes then there will be human beings du'at ala abwaab jahannam people who are inviting to the gates of hell Whoever answers their call, their invitation, they will throw him into hells. Du'at ala abwaabi jahannam. People calling you in the name of this, in the name of that. Uh, we follow this sect, we follow this uh, firqa, this, we follow that firqa, that uh, group, we follow this group. We are the, the right ones, we are the ones who have the calling you, you answer their call, they throw you in hells. May Allah save us. قلت يا رسول الله صفهم لي He asked Prophet to describe those people who called to hell. قال هم من جلدتنا ويتكلمون بألسنتنا قلت فما تأمرني إن أدركني ذلك He said they are similar complexion and they speak with our tongues. Yani these people are are <laughs> are speaking in the names of Islam, calling people to where to hells. قال هم من جلدتنا ويتكلمون بأسنا. قلت إن أدركني ذلك ما تأمرني. He said, if I reach these people, what what is what do you advise me? What do you order me to do? قال تلزم جماعة المسلمين وإمامهم. He said you stay with the group of Muslims and their Imam. Then Sayyidina Hudayfa said, what if they don't have Imam? What if there's no Imam? What if there's a million Jama'a? Everyone claiming to be. What do I do at, the, at that time? قال فاعتزل تلك الفرق كلها. Then leave all of these groups. وَلَوْ أَنْ تَعِضَّ تَعِضَّ بِأَصْلِ شَجَرَةٍ حَتَّى يُدْرِكُكَ الْمَوْتِ He said, even if you have to go hungry, so hungry that you would feed on the bark of the trees until death reaches you. This is in Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. اعتزال الفرق This is the advice of Prophet at the end of time. وَإِنْ تُطِعْ أَكْثَرَ مَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ يُضِلُّوكَ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ If you obey majority of people on earth, holy verse, 
they will misguide you from the way of Allah. This is the age we live in now. The age of confusion. People wake up on one opinion, they go to sleep on the opposite opinion. Go to sleep on one opinion, wake up on a different opinion. Black is white, white is black, good is bad, bad is good, greed is excellent, uh, modesty is old-fashioned, uh, unnatural behavior is common, common practice. لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. And we are still having طول الأمل. يعني all these signs اقتربت الساعة وانشق القمر. Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said that the coming of Judgment Day and my my بعثة my being sent as a prophet are like these two. And he said that اقتربت الساعة وانشق القمر. Allah سبحانه وتعالى in Holy Quran. That judgment day is near. We are now 1400 plus years, almost we're reaching to 1500, and Muslims are not, no sense of urgency. We don't have that fear, that worry that we are now living in, in the time of fitan. We're just saying that in the time of fitna, that that the one who is actually a person of patience and forbearance becomes confused in this time. Subhanallah. We have to why we speak about this? Nobody you don't find people like to speak about the fitan of Akhir Zaman. Although it is the first, fourth pillar of this religion. All, all the mashaykh, uh, you find many people of the imams in the masajid reciting the hadith of uh, Jibreel alayhi salam. Uh, Jibreel alayhi salam, when he came to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and sat in front of him and he said, Mal Islam, Mal Iman, Mal Ihsan. And then he stopped. He didn't stop. He said, Mata sa? When is judgment day? So he asked about Islam, Iman, Ihsan, and the hour. Four things. So ulama, Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, they say, afterwards, when he left, Prophet ﷺ said, Innahu Jibreel, when they asked him who is, Atakum liwa'allimakum amra dinikum. He came to teach you your religion. So we're supposed to be case. We are supposed to be actually inquiring, learning, applying what we're seeing in our world to the prophecies of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu following people who can guide us to tell us when everybody's compass is broken, when people don't know what to go, right, left, front, back, what to do. You need people who have a clear heart and mind to look at the events that are happening through the lens, the prophetic lens. What did my Habib said? What are the signs that he spoke about in the end of times? What should I do if this happens? What should I do if that happens? We are supposed to actually be very interested in this. We are supposed to be looking forward for Allah's faraj. We are supposed to be looking for Sayyidina al-Mahdi alayhi salam's appearance and Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam's appearance. Not to be sleeping. Not to be following advice from anyone. People take their uh, navigation now from the news. What is right and what's wrong, what's what's acceptable and what's not, they, they, they take it from social media. No, he said, Leave that. 
And then he said, if you find And Sayyidina Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani, rahimahullah, he said, fil Fatih al-Bari, whenever you see that the people don't have an imam, faftaraq al-nas, and people become parties and uh, groups, do not follow any of them. Wa'atazi lil jami'a in istata'at khashyata an taqa'a fi shar. And leave everybody if you can, because you may fall into evil. And he said, وَمَتَى وَجَدْتَ فِرْقَةً مُسْتَقْمِ And if you find a group of people that are still following the straight path, you have to join them. So this is the, this is the case. You have to be looking for Ahlillah. You have to be looking for Awliyaullah. You have to be looking for the men of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Searching, seeking a true human being, a true man of Allah, a true reflection of the prophetic ilm and lights in this time, and you have to try to be with them. Because we are entering a dark tunnel. And every, every year, as uh, the hadith of Prophet وسلم, is every year is going to be worse than the one before it. And we can all agree that we can look back and we say five years ago, life was good. Three years ago, life was nice. Now, what will next year bring? Allah knows. But the most important thing is, the most important thing is to put in, in, in front of us, Ya ilahi anta maqsud. Ya Rabbi, I want to leave this dunya ala husn al khatima. I want to leave this dunya and you are pleased with me. Don't let me fall into these deep pits of darkness. Don't let me fall into this fitan that, that are coming before. We want to go from this dunya and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala radin anna. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us understanding and grant us to be with Ahlillah, with the men of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And grant us to be min al dhakirin min dhakirin Allah kathiran wa dhakirat those who mention Allah too much. Grant us to be with Ahlul Dhikr. Grant us to be with those who love Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Sayyid al-Mursaleen, Imam al-Muttaqeen. Fill our hearts with his mahabba. If we reach to that, inshallah we're safe. Wa min Allahi tawfiq bi hurmati al-Habib, bi hurmati al-Fatiha.